actually looking online, looking for recipes. I don't have a homemade recipe myself, but um, I know people use turkey, pork, ground beef, vegetarian options, no meat at all. Um, but for us, we just went the regular plain way with just ground beef and some pinto beans, kidney beans, and that's about it. Really, it's we don't really have a big story behind it. It's just one that we found that looked really good. It's, it's an award-winning chili that somebody used maybe a few years ago, and so we decided to try it out and maybe It'll help us win today. Um, it is a little tomato -y, but we think that's going to be something good for us. Well, initially I came just because, you know, it's free uh, food, and I wanted to just, you know, get something in my system. But then I found myself actually taste testing each uh, uh, group's chili and actually trying to decide which one I thought was uh, better. So far, the criteria I've used to judge the different chilies I've eaten so far is I feel the chili has to have balanced flavor. And so since chili is a culmination of multiple ingredients like tomatoes and beans, sometimes people put things like rice and stuff like that, I think it's really important to balance these flavors out and not let one overpower other flavors. And I also do feel like to keep chili from being bland, it has to have a sort of kick to it so that you can actually feel the chili rather than feel like you're just eating just some type of blend of ground beef and a bunch of just a bunch of ingredients. I feel like the chili needs a personality and a kick would really help a chili get a personality. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.